rapid urbanization across Indian cities has led to the proliferation of informal settlements, with close to 50% of Mumbai's population living in densely populated areas. Women and children in these settlements are also especially vulnerable, facing issues like lack of health, nutrition information, domestic violence and poor access to public health services. Sneha, a Mumbai-based non-profit organization, has been actively working for the last 25 years with the marginalized communities and public systems to improve health, nutrition and safety. It all started in 1999 when Dr. Arnida Fernandez founded Sneha with the mission to save the lives of mothers and babies living in vulnerable urban settlements. When I started, it really Sneha was so small. I spent 30 years in uh, Cyan Hospital uh, in the Department of Neonatology and I struggled to bring down the lives at the high mortality of newborns in the hospital, which I did succeeded at that. But I realized when these newborns who we struggled to survive finally went home, many of them succumbed in their homes. And when I saw this, I said, what are we doing? Hospitals alone are not the answer for ensuring health of newborns. If we wanted to make a change in their lives, we had to go beyond the four walls of the hospital, go into the slums, go into the communities they live, go into their homes to change their attitudes, to change their health seating practices and look after their own health first. Today, Sneha works through an integrated approach to break the intergenerational cycle of poor health and addresses maternal health, child health, adolescent health and also prevents violence against women and children. Sneha's flagship program, the Maternal and Newborn Health Program, was implemented in partnership with the public health system. Now, this program sought to ensure that high-risk pregnant women reached the appropriate health facility in the shortest possible time. What we also did was we started antenatal clinics at the primary health services that enabled pregnant women to receive the appropriate care during pregnancy. This program, which started in Mumbai, has now expanded to nine more cities around Mumbai. In India, approximately 35,000 women lose their lives to pregnancy and childbirth-related issues every year. Sneha collaborates with the public system to strengthen the quality of health services and thus save the lives of mothers and babies. A maternal referral system is very important and Sneha's contribution since I would say almost uh, two decades has been to be the link between various hospitals and the tertiary referral centers. Sneha's other flagship program is its work on preventing and addressing malnutrition in children. This was a program first started in Dharavi and Sneha was able to reduce malnutrition by 28% from baseline to end line over a four year. Sneha also works with the government's Anganwadi system to improve the health and nutrition of young children and provides them with nutritional counselling for pregnant women and mothers, also ensures timely immunisation of infants and monthly screening for children for malnutrition. Sneha Center has nutrition के बारे में भी training दिए उन्होंने delivery के बाद जैसे मेरी delivery हो चुकी थी तो मैंने बच्चे को एक घंटे बाद दूध पिलाया फिर उसको बीसी का टीका भी लगा उसी दिन मेरी delivery के बाद मुझे छह महीने तक मतलब बच्चे को मेरा ही दूध पिलाना है मैं मेरा ही दूध पिलाती हूँ मुझे periods नहीं आया अभी तक तो मैं condom का use करती हूँ जब periods आएगा तो मैं coffee की Sneha makes extensive use of technology for data collection, data analysis, data visualization and also more recently using AI ML for two-way communication with beneficiaries as well as volunteers. Our third program, flagship program, was our program on prevention of violence against women and children. This program is a convergent model where we seek to create awareness on gender and gender-based violence in urban informal settlements 
We provide crisis intervention and counselling services to survivors of violence as well as provide tertiary services like legal aid, mental health support to survivors of violence. No one has to do the FIR in the police station, but they have to do the counselling. They have to do the counselling with their families, with their families, with their families, with their families. If they have to do the counselling, they have to do the counselling. They have to do the counselling in their families. Our adolescent program looks at physical health, which is anemia and BMI, reproductive health and mental health of adolescents, as well as seeks to create civic conscious young people in the communities. In 2017, Sneha launched a palliative care program. This program seeks to provide support to patients with life-limiting illnesses like cancer, stroke, dementia, as well as support the caregivers of these patients. The Nurse Aid program seeks to train young women to be nursing assistants through theory as well as practical training. And these young women are then placed in hospitals, in clinics, as well as in our palliative care program. Across its programs, Sneha identifies and empowers volunteers from the community who play a pivotal role in the community's health and safety by assisting pregnant women. It also refers children with illness to health centers and tackles cases of domestic violence. संगीनी चुनाने के वजह से वजह से हमें बहुत ऊर्जा आ गई और हमें किसी बस्ती में हमारे बस्ती में किसी महिला के घर में झगड़ा हो हिंसा हो तो हम महिला जाके पुलिस स्टेशन लेना जा लेके जाना हो तो वो जानकारी हमको मिली अभी हमको दवा खाना ले जाना हो एनसी करना ये भी जानकारी ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा मिली Throughout Sneha's transformative journey, donors have played a vital role in realizing their vision of raising health for all. Their unwavering support has also made a tangible difference in the lives of underprivileged women and children. I think for me what is most important about Sneha's interventions is how dynamic it is. I mean, we started working together in maternal health and mortality. Today I'm sitting here talking about gender violence and also that we are partnering with Sneha in their palliative care programs. And so for me, how nimble, how responsive to what society needs, what the community wants, the grassroots work that Sneha does at an urban level is just outstanding to me. And also understanding the system wants to work together, right? We all serve the same people, whether I come from business or you come from Sneha, you come from the BMC, we all serve the same people. And by bringing all of us together, Sneha manages to multiply, you know, their reach, their impact and uh, it's the most beautiful thing and I love seeing it in action and I hope that the, these 25 years are just the beginning. As we look ahead, we will focus on four critical things. The first is continue to create impact in the areas of reproductive, maternal, newborn, child and adolescent health as well as prevent and address gender-based violence. The second area we will continue to focus on is strengthening public systems so that services and coverage in these vulnerable populations improve. The third area we will focus on is working with communities to help them access public services and also create a cadre of trained volunteers who can act as agents of change to address community needs. The fourth area we will work on is to scale impact through technical partnerships with NGOs and public systems and enable them to if implement effective interventions to improve health in vulnerable urban populations. So as Sneha embarks on their 25th year, they would like to acknowledge the various people who have made this journey possible. The communities they work with, all the volunteers, frontline workers, staff, health officials, donors, fellow members, NGOs, researchers and all their other partners. Join us as we continue our mission of raising health for all.